Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to episode number eight of Dead Men Armageddon. We are starting this episode off on 77,952 points as a rank 30. And the plan is to keep working on points, keep completing the bosses and get as high up on the ladder as possible. Let's jump right into it. The first thing I want to do today is return to Abyssal Sire. Yesterday I managed to complete all of the tasks, but I didn't finish 75kc yet. And I do want to get 75kc because once I'm done with Sire, I never want to return. That boss is super dangerous because the entire fight is in multi and the fight takes like 2-3 to three minutes. So let's go ahead and finish that off first. Starting on 61kc, we're just gonna need to clear 14 more. Oh my god, it's a random breach, are you serious? I didn't even know it can start on half an hour. Okay, let's go do the random breach real quick. I got completely caught off guard with this. Oh, I forgot a looting bag. Really? Instantly? Come on, Reese. Just one breach. That's all I'm asking. Just one breach, Mr. Reese, is all I'm asking you, brother, man. Nah, this one might be very hard, I think I'll get perma attacked. Yeah, he's instantly on me. Now Port Cazard, bro, they're just like one after another. Unbelievable, dude. They're just passing me. Okay, so that's one Reese, one Port Cazart. I got zero damage in so far. Lovely. Surely I'll be able to get a bit of damage in now, right? Surely. Let me just double check that I have this unlocked before I try to make an escape that doesn't exist. Okay, it should be escapable. Okay, they are busy with another guy right now, so... Okay, they're on me again. I would love to see, but I can't. Ah, and now it's a third guy. The Hog Slinger is now on us as well. Okay, well, what's that? Tank number four? We're having fun playing this video game today, I think. Wow. I think my solution is no looting bag, no overload, and just a bunch of brews. Bunch of brews and only restores. I'm just trying to move a lot, so I'm not an easy left click. Yeah, pick air on me again. That is disgusting, I'm under swarms as well. Like, what is wrong with you, man? Okay, yes, you have VLS, I understand. He has that tag speed thingy, but that's fine. Okay, I'm not gonna come back because there's no point. I'm not gonna let this get me down. 
but I do think I will go get some sleep now that the random breach is over. I didn't even know it could happen at the half times like it just did. But yeah, we live another day, which is what's important. We got a little bit of damage in, which is what's important. And now I'm gonna do some AFK skilling and get a little bit of rest because I need it. One of the few sigils I still do not have on the main account is Sigil of Remote Storage. It is one of the very expensive ones, but it is also one that will maintain the price. So because I have a lot of money left over right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy this. And especially due to the fact that I just wanna chill and AFK. It doesn't buy, so I'm gonna put the buy order in and let it be there. I'm down to do it for 8 mil, to be honest. And the great combination to go with the sigil of the remote storage is also sigil of the enhanced harvest. This one goes for around 900k, and where this will actually start shining... Oh, there we go, it just bought for 8 million. Perfect money spent. Where this will shine is once I can actually plant U seeds, I will do that in the safe zone, and then I can just AFK my wood cutting in the safe zone while chopping 3 U trees at the time, which is a decent super AFK moneymaker once again. I was impatient so I just insta bought it for 950k. So if I could just quickly get a few farming levels I could plant a U tree. A little AFK session and a nap later I'm now 77 woodcutting. Also what I've done is I planted a bunch of stuff before and I equipped sigil of nature with enhanced harvest and storage and this should hopefully have finished all of my fruit trees as well. Gonna do those, get a little bit of farming XP, and if it is possible, I'm tossing in the Sigil of the Nature. XP check, we're going from 53 farming to 56 farming by clicking on a pineapple. From 56 to 58 farming as well, and from 58 farming to 60 farming. I should now be able to plant my U tree in my safe spot and just be able to AFK it for probably the rest of my woodcutting XP. That's kind of the plan, we'll see if I'll actually end up doing it, but that should make decent money whilst completely AFK and completely safe as well. And from 60 to 61 alongside the achievement for Karamja as well. The reason I wanted to train farming like this early is because I wanted to plant my mahogany saplings. With a sigil of nature available, this should be a very good way for me to train farming. Okay, so with this U sapling, I should now be able to... Wait, I, I planted everything basically. If this doesn't die, this is the spot I will be AFKing, mining and making profit when I feel like it. But now I think I'll gear up again and finish off Sire, even though it's kind of like a peak time. I hope I can get it done. 64 KC is the starting mark. Let's get 11 more kills. Ooh, there is the Slayer level. 94, beautiful. Okay, last kill. Let's go. There it is. There it is. 75 kill count. We are now officially fully completed with the Sire as well. I cannot believe we didn't actually die in the process. Ending it on 79.4 thousand. With that, we now have Sire completed, Thermi completed, Kraken completed. On 95, I will be able to do Hydra. We'll be a bit careful with Hydra though. I'm not gonna like rush it or anything. For that, I will need a Twisted Bow and really good range gear. I'm in the mood to continue crazy behavior. So if you look at my inventory, you will find something very odd. Why is this guy having full Verax available? Well... Calfight Queen actually has decent points associated with her and we do need to kill her 75 times and hopefully get ahead in those 75 kills so we can then eventually do Diary as well. I'm gonna go with Titanium Restoration Swashbuckler and what I'm hoping for is that it's gonna be fully self-sustainable. I just logged out so I have a fresh timer on my high scores so if somebody is trying to scout me they don't see what I'm actually doing and I'm just buying a couple of robes because I will be needing them. Okay, I'm starting to think I probably don't do this boss all the way simply because I don't have 86 agility to go through the thing. I also think you need a diary for some reason, but maybe I'm wrong. But I do want to test this technology because I do think it would be pretty good. So in an ideal world, I self-sustain. Okay, yeah. Uh, it ain't perfect. I would probably need like Infernal Cape and Berserker Ring to make it a bit better. I feel like if I had Blood Fury, I could just stay here permanently. But let's see if that's a combat task. It is. I mean, we'll take it, right? Why not? Why not? Let's do, like, one more kill or so. Okay, this is definitely the type of boss I will return to once I have the Infernal Cape and Berserker Ring, I think. Uh, because right now, the kills are a little bit too slow, I would say. Peak game time means we're gonna be skilling with Sigil of Nature activated, therefore my trees grow faster. 
My next viable is crafting and most of the market is pretty played out so it is no longer profitable. Here is level 80 crafting meaning that with a plus 5 boost I should now be able to craft black bodies. I'm currently actually making money with this and I wanna do it for as long as I can maintain making money with this. All the way up to 85 crafting. The price has definitely fell down a little bit but I'm still breaking even. Alright, I've done a ridiculous amount of skilling in the downtime during the peak and we are now 89 crafting and I am ready to go for a breach. The money situation... Okay, these items are okay to lose. I mean, 40k, not that much. Uh, yeah, this is like a mill. It's like a guardian angel price if I died. These two, I wouldn't like to lose, but uh, I don't really have other items that would cover it. So, start of the breach, 79.922. Almost 80,000 points, which is crazy. Yeah, I'm excited to see where the points go after today. Let's hopefully not die. But if we do, it is what it is. Southern Fremenic. Since the last breaches, they upped the spawns by quite a bit, by the way. So we might be seeing a lot more monsters up here. Hey, we are surpassing 80,000 points. Very cool. There's an emblem. Uh, I can take this one. Why am I poisoned? Oh, I'm being ragged. Huh. That's funny. I mean, I have house, so I can just go in and out. No way this guy's just bolting people with the poison bolts. Like, what are, what are we playing right now? I respect it. There's one down there. Yeah, why am I not surprised? He went straight for me, this guy. What a comedian. Alright. Okay, we're out. Yeah, we're getting ragged a lot, huh? Okay, uh, quickly go to the bank, get anti-venom. We can make it work though. At least I can cure venom by just going to the house and out. That's super nice. Okay, dude, I almost got Darug bombed. What the fuck? Not that emblem, but... Oh, come on, bro. Are you serious? I don't even see who's on me. Huh. Okay, it's becoming a bit fucking hard to do these breaches, huh? Okay, pray melee when you exit, for sure. Might just have to be in tank for the most part. Maybe I can go a little bit down here. Dude, there's like people throwing depots at people and shit. It's wild out here, man. It's honestly crazy. I'm getting more food. Dude, I don't feel comfortable. Like, there is like Darug bombing, depots flying, like full max turbo dudes. Like, it's crazy in these breaches. I mean, I already got this in the mount, honestly. I can't wait till I cap the breach point, so I don't need to even worry about it anymore. Because goddamn, this is this is something. But who's bolting me again? I just came out. Look at this dude, man. Like, what? What's 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 his deal? Okay, now he's gonna go Void Waker. I mean, we have fans, I guess. It is what it is, you know. It's actually disgusting. I mean, what can I do? I come out of house, I get attacked. I go back, I bank, I come back, I get attacked. Like, what is my outplay potential here? I mean, I'm, hey, listen, hey, I'm trying my best here, I'm gonna be honest. I am overbrewing. There is no way I chance getting, like, rushed. Oh, a guy actually died there in the distance. Ooh, this guy, third age Sean, killed the dude. Ooh, this is all me right now. Let's see. Ah, it's a tier 5. Another emblem. Just putting tank. Ah, there he is. Mr. Walk the Walk. Just gonna overbrew. And we're out. And you know what? We're gonna call it here. The breach is basically over. The points at the end, 82.3, you know, it was rough. We got attacked like seven times with dudes in absolute max, but I'm starting to feel a lot more confident in my tanking ability. Uh, that's why I bring like much better gear as well to tank with. 
and we've been doing really well. The breaches have been pretty much in our favor as well. Let's take a look where we rank after this breach. Beautiful, we're going into the front page almost. We're currently ranked 27, two spots away from front page. Love to see it. If you're enjoying the episode, make sure to subscribe. Okay, whilst we're waiting for everything to cool down, for people to start going to sleep, to log off, whatever it is, let's first do the farm run, because I think it should be ready. But after that, just a lot more skilling until people start logging off. Oh, the AFK tree is grown. This is gonna be my AFK woodcutting place for sure. There's level 64 farming, and the reason why I wanted to do that is because now with an exaggeration boost, I can go ahead and plant a bunch of palm tree seeds, and I have a ton of these. Anyways, gonna do a quick farm trip, and then we probably focus on even more crafting. I do want to finish this whilst the market is doable, uh, because I don't want to leave it till the very end when other people make money and then other people want crafting, and then it's just a mess. So the sooner you get rid of it, the better, at least from my experience. My trees were not yet ready, but my crafting gains are. Here's level 90 craft, just 9 more levels to go, and we unlock a very good dangerous teleport. However, at the moment, I am training on a loss. Up to 92 crafting and we can now create zenite necklaces. I'm doing a nice mix of chaps and a nice mix of bodies as well. Here's a 95 crafting. I'm basically running out of any resources. There's nothing left on the market, but I really want to get this 99. 65 farming, 66, 67. And there's 68. I now no longer need a boost to plant these trees, which is going to be very helpful in the long run. Oh, and I got 77 agility. I will always throw on Sigil of Lithness whenever it is I'm running and not actually doing combat. I'm just checking these trees to see how much they've grown so far. Not quite done yet, but all nice and healthy. 3 out of 9. That's why I keep the nature sigil on when I'm AFK. Alright, I got invited to a late night Godward's trip. Let's see how this goes. Let's go in, let's go in. I splash my first freeze. You can stay outside for a bit if he goes out, by the way. Yeah, stay outside. No! That's why I meant to stay outside. It's fine. Just kill the boss, he's out. But at least I got 1kc, that's like points. So now, if it happens that we, you know, die... Re <gasps> hey, I got a God's Chart 3 of a minion. We're already printing, bro. Let's go. Yo, we got another... Bro, we got two God's Chart 3s. Yeah, I got another one. Wait, wait. Should we try one kill where we kill the mobs first? Like, for example... I hit the boss, you hit the minions, one kill, and then the next kill, you hit the boss, I hit the minions. Yeah, I got it, I got it. <gasps> I got it, I got it, dude, ACB. Let's kill the mobs and get out. Dude, no way. No way, that's how much, 50 fucking mil or some shit. No way we got it on 10kc, dude. That's a W right there, man. I don't believe it, bro, that's so good. That is so good. South Lumbridge Swamp, okay. Oh yeah, I didn't check the points. 83.4. I mean, the other one is north of Ardi. I think I'm going there. I don't like this location too much. There we go, much better. First emblem. A second, I guess. Pick air on me. How to retaliate on so I can hit him and see him. I still can't see him. Ah, it's that guy again. That's bad, Kiriana. Ah, it's that Ethan guy again. Okay. Very interesting. Ah, he's already back on me. Actually shameful. Okay, he's... These people are just funny, honestly. Now what you gonna do? I'm just gonna brew every time you deal damage there. Nice. Actually shameful. Okay, PK are on us again. Okay, 
Okay, we're out. And the bridge is basically over here. I'm not even gonna go back. 85,000 points to end it. I think that's fine. Damn, these bridges are so stressful, man. People are perma attacking. All right, it's 4 a.m. It's time for me to get some sleep. Couple of hours of sleep later, and here it is. Armadale crossbow actually, in fact, sold for 47.9. Just, just straight up 47 mil, actually. This is so much money in dead, man. I don't even know what to do with it. Obviously, we're splitting it halfway, so I'm walking away with 23.5 mil. And this just opens every possibility in the game for us. I am super excited. I'm quickly buying out the market I missed while going to sleep. Here's 96 crafting. I will be pushing this to be my next 99 for sure. 97. 98, and I'm really struggling for resources for the last one, but I'm finishing it off one way or another. I've pretty much used every possible method of trading crafting that I can remember. I cannot buy anything else on the market. But what I can do is do a farm run. And I need to get very consistent with this. But here is level 70 farming. 100k XP drops is really insane. 71. And here is 73. And once again, consistency will be key with this if I actually want to get this to 99. And the Calquat to finish off the 74 and the Diary. Another breach is starting in 3 minutes, we're gonna start this one off on 85,316 points. I'm not quite sure how many points I can get before I stop gaining points from breaches, but a part of me kinda can't wait for that because, yeah, the breaches have been very hard to do for me, personally. Spawned in a Southern Fremenic. Wait, that's perfect, no? I think that's the one we like the most. Alright, let's see how it goes. Oh, I'm getting all this solo damage only because of the construction cap. Imagine I get something good here and I, I need to run all the way around because it's over the thingy. Okay, just snapdragon, nothing crazy there. Yeah, I think this is one of my favorite bridge locations. There's a tier 5, but I'm very careful with picking things up right now. I value every single food in my inventory. Be care on me. Crazy. Absolutely crazy damage output. Oh my god, I should have been dead. Wow, the double void waker into smite into VLS. What the fuck just hit me, bro? Full crystal void waker above. Oh, what a demon. Oh, I should not be alive. This is very scary. And that's why we sit 115 HP and it's still not enough. Wow. There's absolutely nothing. I mean, I guess I could be bolting up back while brewing, but like. I'm not ready to be hit in that moment for like those numbers. The sigils are so crazy with that gear. I mean, holy shit. Is it even worth going back? I will I will go back, but we're on 86.4k points and oh my goodness, it is scary to get hit by a guy like that. Yeah, fucking giraffe breathing came back, that's for sure. So much damage, well played to the guy. I am not crossing over, bro. My safe spot is here and I'm not going anywhere away from here. Okay, this could be really good damage. It's only me on this guy right here. This guy's gonna go on me. Yeah. That is so unlucky, no? Bro! How fucked is that? Why is the boss me melting me like... Okay, he used his specs. We'll be alright. 
fucking boss is even on me, bro. I can't catch a break, can I? Brother, you can't kill me anymore, like, relax. Yeah, I'm not gonna hit him back now. Because he venged, so we just run. Man, you can't make this shit up, bro. Like, a PKer jumps me, the boss pulls me in 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 in my face. From the boss, by the way. Jesus, man, hello. Can I play the game? Come on, that's good damage right here. And the breach is very close to being done here. Just trying to pump as much damage for as many points as we can here in the very end. Now we get an emblem. And you know what? I will even pick it up. There we go. I think I could maybe get one more thing to kill. Okay, here we go. Me versus Darren. Okay, I'll definitely get an MVP on this. So this could be something really big. Okay, and we got another emblem here. Is this guy jumping me again? He is. What a surprise. It's almost as if there is no other people to hit. But I believe this is it. This is where we call it for the breach. And oh my god, we live to fight another day. But really, we should have been dead to that absolute maxer in like Void Waker VLS with, that dropped us to down to like 2 HP. Uh, that was a really good effort from him. But regardless, you know, sometimes being a little bit lucky is also, you know, kind of needed. Especially with all these sigils. Like, we ended on 87.4 thousand points. I need to quickly log out and in just to check what kind of rank we are at the moment. With this amount of points, we are currently ranked 29 on Deadman mode. With a lot of possibilities for free points to still get, such as Inferno Colosseum, Chambers, TOA, TOB. I've done none of the easy points. So, I'm excited for the future because it should be easy, in theory, to get to the front page and above. Make sure you guys subscribe if you want to catch the next episode. I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good day and bye-bye. Oh, and a very quick thank you to Kuopala, Brian, Soren, Big Bang and Jumanji for joining the membership program. I really appreciate you guys.